Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon and Aries Rising weekly tar reading for August 13th to August 19th, 2018. <clears throat> so that being said, uh, we are going to do four card spread for Aries and at the end of the tar reading uh, we are going to do brief Lenormand reading as well for the week that is going to show up in an event Aries kind of can look forward to. <clears throat> so uh, the first position for Aries for the week is going to describe the topic for their week, then the second position represents the core of the situation, third position uh, does represent uh, the uh, challenges to be taken on, and the last position does uh, represent the guidance that Saro has for Aries. Is. So, uh, the first card that represents the topic of uh, Aries this week, this is going to be the Six of Cups. And Six of Cups represents a, a general uh, thrill and general, uh, let's say, happiness, guys, of all the things that you are going to do for the duration of the week, which kind of uh, tells us that you, Aries, are quite, quite enjoy, uh, are going to quite enjoy whatever you are doing either into your career or either into your relationship. And as a matter of fact, this card shows up that you will have a prerequisite during that particular week to express your creativity or to make yourself with a, a creative expression, especially uh, <clears throat> if we're talking about career here. Now the Six of Cups it is a card which represents the small things in life and it is exactly where you're gonna find, find joy and happiness into those small things that we usually are way too busy with our daily routine, with our codes of conduit, etc, etc and we fail to acknowledge and we fail to uh, kind of like spot and attend to as a matter of fact. So this week it's kind of like um, of, with that card I could say that the pressure is rather gonna uh, take off <clears throat> or kind of like it's gonna be dropped off and it, it will be a week where you will have the time and you will have the attitude to enjoy your day. Afterwards we are going to the second card which represents the core of the situation or why you will have that with the Six of Cups. Now we do have the Four card. Now the, in the literal meaning of the card which says the new beginning, the Four card represents the state just before the beginning. And as a core of the situation, this card says that this time around many things are going to kind of change, especially uh, in, in these kind of a situations which were set on halt, which were, uh, face, which were facing a dead end and uh, which were facing misunderstanding. Now, very important here is that as soon as the stir starts happening for you, Aries, you are going to uh, be a lot more ha uh, light-hearted when you kind of like attend to your situation, career or relationship-wise. And the full card does represents candor behind behind one actions. So this time around, there won't be any surreptitious. Um, intentions that you may suspect from the people around you and as well it's kind of like you will have faith and clamor into what is yet to happen in your life being very positive about the future especially having the very first steps here with the six of cups which represents the, those steps the very first steps of uh, that new activity will uh, kind of like create joy and will ignite your passion within <clears throat> when you start attending to them afterwards it will be the challenges to be taken uh, and that will be the five of cups and this card here I suspect represents something recent from your past areas some sort of like a remnants from the past which does not allow you to feel the full extent of the joy that it is meant for you during that particular week as every time you kind of like uh, bring back the memory of whatever poignant experience um, you had in the recent past as I said that could be something in the previous week or it could be something that happened a couple of weeks ago um, <clears throat> it's kind of like that will um, diminish a little bit you know 
the joy from uh, from the events and from the activity that you are going to experience for the duration of the week and uh, here um, there is only one advice that I can give you based on the five of cups is that it was not your fault first of all and second of all whatever happened you should not allow that thing to deprave you from your self-respect and the last card here does represents the uh, the guidance from tarot or what kind of standpoint you should adopt in order to make most advantage of the topic here which is joy uh, the standpoint is that you first have to be very proud of yourself. The King of Wands is someone who is very proud of himself and where he, how far he went with his undertakings. As well, it is very generous and it's very honest man. But the, the King of Wands also has a, a high expectations in a sense of that he always expects the best that is going to happen and it is ready to throw the best that he has to offer so that being said having this card around means that you should not spend uh, spare any resources that you do possess at this very moment to throw them into the direction of that you experience joy and that you experience happiness regardless uh, is this is going to be into your relationship into your career or into either of them and one more thing for the King of Wands here is that it is very important that despite what happened in the recent past, you know, you need to maintain your positive attitude regarding what is yet to uh, to come around regarding your future. And the Lenormand reading here will describe an event that you should be on a watch out or you should look forward to. That will be, uh, we have the bucket with... Um, the uh, tree and with the birds so uh, that points that we do have a, either a gift or a, a benefit something of a benefit that is going to be a long term for you and it shall be discussed or you're going to hear a rumor about it. So that could be uh, a rumor for your promotion or a discussion for your promotion. That could be a rumor or a, um, it's kind of like, you know, a hint from your partner that he's planning to engage with you, uh, to, to get engaged with you, etc., etc., or a, a discussion about being engaged. Um, in, um, <clears throat> in any case, it's going to be something that is going to offer you a, a long-term happiness which kind of synergizes with the six of cups that we do have the topic so I hope that you're gonna make the best out of it there he says and uh, with that being said Brad signing out now see you next time bye